So this is a lamprey. You kind of got that, I think, already. Um, I'm going to try to go kind of quickly through some things that I think were kind of non-problematic. Um, head, region, including the gill slits, just so you know, that is part of the head. Then trunk. And then where does the tail start? How do you decide where the tail starts? After the cloaca, yeah. Basically everything behind the cloaca, by definition, is the end. And one thing just for future reference to think about is that that's also where the body cavity ends. So there's body cavity in the trunk region, but not in the tail. Um, dorsal fins, caudal fin, you guys, I think none of this is really too challenging. Um, let's see. You can see the nostril in the eye. Yeah, this nice on the intact ones to be able to see the median nostril there on the top of the head. And then what's that light area right behind the nostril? The pineal eye. Pineal eye, exactly, which is a light sensing organ. Okay. Um, you can also see these rows of pits right here on the head. And what would those be? That's the lateral line system. And it shows up way better on the head as these rows of pits than it does on the trunk on these guys. Okay. Um, external gill slits, I think those are kind of obvious. There they are. Let's see. Um, myomeres, you can't really see very well from the outside. Oh, and so then the reason I got the whole one mainly was to just clarify some of the terminology around the opening here. So this opening of the urogenital tract and digestive tract is called the cloacal aperture. The cavity that's opening to the surface is the cloaca. In, in Latin, cloaca means sewer because it's where everything dumps. Okay. And the little uh, papilla that sticks out there would be the... Urogenital, urogenital papilla, okay, so that's where urine and um, eggs and sperm come out, and then in front of that, or anterior to that, cranial to that, is the opening of the anus, or the intestine, into the cloaca. Okay. All right, I think that's pretty much it for the, the outside of this guy. Oh, and the eyes, I forgot to mention, there's eyes. <laughs> um, Okay, so if we, if we look at a sagittal section, um, there's this long, stiff but flexible rod running along the back of the animal, and that would be... Notochord. Notochord. Okay, just checking. Um, that's the notochord. And up at the front end of the notochord, notice that it stops here. It doesn't run all the way to the front of the head. But right there, above it, is this kind of whitish structure. Do you see that there? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that would be what? Brain. 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 Okay, so that's the brain. And it's hard to see on the adult, but there's three parts of the brain, the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. And they should show up pretty well on those amicid larvae. Okay. Um, some fancier names for them that we'll worry about later, but forebrain, midbrain, hindbrain is good. Okay, there's a dark spot that you can see here just in front of the brain. See this guy here? Mm -hmm. Cranial to the brain, and what's that? Olfactory. That's the olfactory sac. So that's where the nostril leads to, is down to the olfactory sac. And then these guys are kind of interesting because there's a pouch that continues from the olfactory sac down, like this, in front of the tip of the notochord. Do you see where I'm showing you guys? So here's the tip of the notochord, there's olfactory sac. And continuing down like this is this pouch that runs along there. And that is called the hypophysial pouch. Okay. Um, and together, sometimes this whole thing is the nasohypophysial pouch or apparatus. And basically what that does is it allows pressure changes that are happening in the pharynx when they're pumping water in and out uh, across the gills to move water in and out of the nose as well for sniffing. Okay. Um, I'm kind of running without looking at my list, so let's see. Okay, I've skipped over a couple of things here. Um, there's some cartilages that support the head structures in these guys. And technically, all the cartilages that surround the brain and the sense organs would be known as the chondrocranium. Chondro means cartilage, cranium, skull. So cartilage, skull. And then there's also cartilages that surround the gill region or pharynx, and that's the branchial basket. And the branchial basket can be seen as this kind of dark stuff that you see right below the gill region. And if you probe it with your probe, 
you'll feel that it's hard. It's not a soft structure. And that's the easiest way. And it's kind of dark colored in these guys for some reason that I don't I don't know. Um, okay. Do um, myomirs and myosepta. Everyone okay with those? Yeah. 